Welcome, this is Lucida of Lucid Tarot and Twin Flame RX, and I'm here to bring you a new reading. So if you'd like your own private reading, we have them available at twinflamerx.com backslash consultations via chat or email. You can contact me anytime you see me online. Also check the description box for more information because this is a general reading but I do have these private and personal readings available. I'm a full-time reader. I do this all day, every day, and my focus is Twin Flames and Soul Connections and the Soul Journey, and I'm here to bring you a reading about this recent transit that we just began today, January 6th, and we'll be continuing into the first week of March and what it is is Mars moving out of Aries into Taurus. Mars is a masculine energy planet moving into Taurus going from Aries is going from a more energetic or movable sign or like a movement oriented sign to one that's more stubborn and grounded the Taurus energy is very stubborn very grounded but also very in the moment very sensual so we're going to look at how this transit for the next two months or so is going to affect the twin flames and their karmic partner situation and then there will be some advice so just really quickly before we get started again don't forget to like share comment and subscribe hit the bell icon to be notified of all uploads and as we get started remember again that this is not a private reading so just take the parts that resonate and as we start let's look at that first card the df card and underneath the DF, we see the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is all about rest and relaxation, mainly from mental struggles. So to stop worrying, to actually get some rejuvenation. This is going to be a very nice two months for the Divine Feminine Twin Flame. They will start to mentally detach from problems in life in general and problems with or perceived problems with their twin and they'll just be living in the moment more that's actually the best energy you could be in it's very authentic when you live in the moment you could appreciate the beauty of the moment when you're engaging in your five senses looking at a beautiful lake smelling the beautiful sea salt or flowers let's say you know feeling on your skin all uh, that nice uv radiation from the sun and like, you know, just being in the moment is what really grounds you. And that's what's going to be happening for the Divine Feminine for the next two months. The Divine Masculine is going to be a lot more active, assertive, energetic with that yellow fool energy there. Basically wanting to get out there and, you know, journey, find their twin. Let's get this thing going. So they'll be wanting to commit to something with faith behind it because with the Taurus energy, you have that wanting to lay down roots wanting to build something and it's with the divine feminine because if we look at the karmic partner situation they really haven't changed they're just going to get more earthy with the way that they do their dark stuff um, with that devil energy so the divine masculine is actually in the spread turned away from that energy and i feel that they will continue to turn away from it they may be tempted by it at times but it's really now their strength and their stubbornness with this Taurus energy that will be tested. So yes, the devil will tempt them, but the key is that they stay grounded and remember who they are and what their ultimate goal is. And they definitely like that light energy a lot better than the darkness. So the advice is to start something new, try something new, this is Taurus energy with the Ace of Pentacles there. The Pentacle is saying, you know, you have a, a new journey in this life. Explore a beach, explore a forest. Do something that engages all five senses the next two months especially. Stay grounded. Use this energy to manifest your wildest dreams with your twin. If your twin is coming toward you, you can be, um, if you're the Divine Feminine, you can be receptive to that. You know, you could be in your yin energy of receptivity and nurturing, while the Divine Masculine is in that fool energy, which is pretty masculine, positive, assertive, you know, not aggressive. Assertive is 
healthy masculine energy you know moving forward toward a goal and staying away from that karmic partner situation because that's where all the dark energy is and that's where all the repeating patterns of negativity and toxicity lie and we're trying as twin flames to disentangle from that move away from that and also our mission is to show others that we can start anew with that ace of pentacles we can take our investment and we can start a new life elsewhere if we'd like to with somebody that is on the same page as we are wanting to live happily authentically from our hearts and our souls rather than from our egos so i hope this reading helped you understand that this taurus energy is going to be around for the next two months to help the divine masculine to not be tempted to stay away from the karmic partner situation to not go back into toxic cycles and you can use this if you're the divine feminine watching as a break a rest enjoy the scenery take that mask off and smell the fresh air <sighs> anyway i hope you have a beautiful rest of your day or evening and i will see you in the next video namaste